today we're taking comfort food to the next level. If you've had a rough day or are having a cold like I do, you're in the right place. Let me present the star of today's show, the tomato soup with burrata grilled cheese. Picture this, roasted tomatoes, garlic, onion and gooey grilled cheese that will warm your soul. Stick around because I'll be sharing tips and tricks along the way. So let's create some culinary magic with a big dose of antioxidants. Since we're gonna roast the vegetables in an oven, start by turning it on and set the temperature to 200 degrees celsius. That is for my American friends around 390 degrees Fahrenheit. So now let's start preparing the star of this party, the tomato. Today I've chosen to go with two different kinds of tomatoes. We don't need to do any prep on the smaller ones, but the big ones we slice down the middle and lay them on the flat side down. Then we cut with an angle to remove the leftover stem. I got bored after doing this on half of the tomatoes, so I switched it up by holding the tomato and cutting at an angle, making sure to intersect the cuts. Then remove the stem bits and slice them in half. Just be careful, don't cut yourself. Next up is the red chili. Cut the chili so fast the stem flies off to the side and then slice it down the middle. If you want your soup to be less spicy, remove the seeds from the chili. Now we'll also try the fancy way of preparing the garlic. So take the whole head of garlic and just cut the top part off. I noticed that one of the garlic cloves in the head had gone bad so I removed that one and moved on towards the red onion. There's nothing new here, so take off the top and bottom of the red onion, remove the skin and slice into quarters. Do this for both onions. Once that is done we can move over to the bell pepper. Today I used a yellow bell pepper, but you can also use a red one if you'd like. Similarly to the onion, take the top and bottom part out, then you can easily remove the seeds by cutting the connecting parts all the way through. Grab the seed house of the bell pepper and remove all the seeds at once. Put all of your vegetables on an oven safe tray. I added a tomato, red onion followed by bell pepper, chili and garlic. When the vegetables are on the plate I add a healthy glug of olive oil before tossing the vegetables with my hands. Let's place the vegetables in an oven and let them go for 45 minutes. Now we need to take the vegetables out from the oven and honestly before we move on, take a look and appreciate the culture of that plate. I'm feeling healthier already. Take the head of garlic and smush it together to squeeze out all the roasted garlic. If it's too hot you can use some paper to hold it. Another option is also to wait until it cools down. Now that we're done with the garlic, you see all that burnt in flavor in the bottom of the pan? Here I tend to mix all the ingredients together on the tray to try and dissolve as much as possible before I remove all the vegetables and pour in hot water. Do you see how much flavor is still in the pan? Repeat this twice for maximum extraction. Now it's time to add a chicken broth or in my case three bouillon cubes. Then add back those vegetables into the pot along with some water. Before we start boiling the soup we need to add 3 tablespoons of tomato paste and also taste for salt and pepper. The soup doesn't take long to simmer because all the ingredients are already cooked. When the soup has come up in temperature we can add 2 tablespoons of paprika powder. Take the soup off the heat and bring out your immersion blender if you have one or a normal blender would also work. Blend the soup very finely because in the next step we're going to put the soup through a sieve. Take a ladle or pour some soup into the sieve. While we wait for the soup to go through the strainer, how about you hitting that subscribe button? It will help me greatly since my channel is new. We can, of course, also help the soup by using a ladle. When all the soup has gone through the sieve, you can pour it back into the pot and add heavy cream. We can now set the soup aside until we reheat before serving. But we're not done yet, we're moving on to the grilled cheese. 
I will make two grilled cheese sandwiches and for this grilled cheese you need to start by adding butter to the pan. Before placing the bread in the pan, take a knife and spread some mayonnaise on one side. Then place the mayo side facing down into the butter. The next step is that you take the burrata and divide it between the two sandwiches. After that you add a healthy amount of cheddar cheese along with salt and pepper to taste before placing another slice of bread on top with mayonnaise. Fry on both sides until the bread is golden brown and the cheese is melted and gooey goodness inside. Make sure to cut the bread into triangles which is mandatory for the most effective dippability. Fill your bowl to the desired amount. And add some more basil and drizzle over some olive oil and cream. And there you have it! If you're still with me, go ahead and smash that like button. I appreciate you taking the time to watch all the way through to the end. Now I'm gonna eat this delicious soup and get healthy. Stay tuned for more videos really really soon.